So question two on this OCR P1 section. Uh, Sue looks up some information about specific latent heat of water. And specific latent heat is the amount of energy needed to change the state of a substance. So here you've got the information. You've got the change of state of water melting from a solid to a liquid takes 334 kilojoules per kilogram. And vaporization from a liquid to a gas takes 2260 kilojoules per kilogram. So this is some useful data here. Sue is heating 100 grams of ice. That's some useful data as well. Look at the graph, it shows Sue's results. So what we're going to be asked is to do a calculation about specific latent heat and about the amount of energy it takes. So let's just scroll down, we'll have a look at the graph and we'll see what the question is expecting us to do. Then I'll give you a go at the question. So here's the graph. The temperature is increasing, it starts off below zero. There's a solid uh, block of ice at this point. Temperature increases up until zero degrees and then it stays the same for a while, even though energy is still going in. This is the point where it's melting. Then the temperature increases again, as it's a liquid in this point, until it reaches 100 degrees and at this point it begins to vaporize. So energy is still going in, but it is going towards changing the state rather than changing the temperature. So lastly, here we go, the temperature then as a gas can rise once more. You're asked to calculate the energy which is supplied to the water between points A and B on the graph. So this is a question where you're going to need to go to the front of the exam paper and find yourself an equation. It's a calculation one. You're looking for an equation that can let you calculate the energy with the data that you've got. So I'm going to scroll back up now, have a look at the data you've got, have a look for the correct equation from the equation sheet at the front of the paper, and then have a go at the question. We'll ask you to pause now and have a go. Okay, so first of all, you need to decide, well, which section were you after? Were you interested in this point here? This is uh, where it's melting, and this point here, where it's vaporizing. Well, you asked about A and B, so this section here. So you don't need that data there. Don't use that data there. Hopefully, you've looked at the equation bank and you found the equation energy is mass times specific latent heat. So you've got that data, that's the specific latent heat there and that is the mass there. So all you need to do is put the mass in there and the specific latent heat in there. Before we do that look at this data there, it says 100 grams of ice. Well that's not ready yet because the specific latent heat is in kilojoules per kilogram. So we've not got coherent units, they're not the same, grams and kilograms. So we need to convert this 100 grams into kilograms. Now there's 1,000 grams in every kilogram, so 100 grams is one-tenth of a kilogram, it's 0 0.1 kilograms. Now that data in where it says mass, specific latent heat in where it says specific latent heat and you're ready to reach for your calculator 0 0.1 times 2260 is 226 that still hasn't got all the marks because that itself needs a unit and that is a number of kilojoules okay we haven't changed this into joules per kilogram so our answer is in kilojoules. You could give that as 226,000 joules. Both are equally correct, correct for both marks. Okay.
let's move on to part B. It's going to ask you what's actually happening and why does the temperature not change during those flat sections of the graph. Okay, it says energy is supplied between A and B. Why does the temperature of the water not change? Well, this is really a question about the difference between heat energy and temperature. Well, let me tell you then the difference between heat energy and temperature. It might just help you. So energy is the total heat energy, the total energy in the substance. Okay, temperature is a measure of the average heat energy, or as heat energy is just this movement of the particles, it's a, it's a measurement of the average kinetic energy of the particles. Now hopefully you should be able to use that to do a description of what is happening, why the temperature does not increase during the uh, state change between A and B. Okay, pause and have a go. Okay, well, there's two marks, so we need to make two clear points. The first point being the average kinetic energy does not change. of the particles does not change. Why is that then? Well, it's because the energy that's being supplied, yeah, total energy is increasing, the energy that's being supplied is being used to break into molecular bonds. I should say energy is used. intermolecular between the molecules you could say instead of intermolecular bonds it's used to overcome intermolecular forces or the forces of attraction between particles. Okay, let's move on to question three then.